Good evening from the floor. I am going to have a little bit of fun tonight. I had a garbage day. I'm sure many of you can relate. And uh, painting seems the way to fix that. So I've got a hexagonal tile here. It's roughly six and a half inches to seven and a half inches, depending on how you measure it. At least that is what the box says. And I am playing with two different colored pillow paints here. I'm doing black on the outside, I'm doing white on the inside. Both of these are color plates that you get at Walmart. And I mix in just a little bit of GAC, and that is to prevent crazing. Paint the pain away, as they say, right? At least, you know, that's what I'm saying. I am playing with Arteza paints tonight. I have got electric blue, royal purple, turquoise, and lime green. They're all the pearlescent, so they've got mica in them. They're beautiful. And I am mixing them each with a pouring medium that is Joe Sonia water-based polyurethane and the Sherwin-Williams HGTV untinted base paint. Okay, so we're gonna go 20 milliliters of pouring medium to five milliliters of paint. I'm gonna start with my blue. And I'm gonna use kind of a lot since this is a bigger tile and I don't really want totally firm dots here. Just cause I'm going for a slightly different effect. This is experimental again. Why else would I call myself the witch of what the F? I like to try things and God knows what it's gonna be or how it's gonna turn out. And that's the beauty, beauty, beauty of this art. I mean, seriously though, have you ever had one of those days where literally everything goes wrong and nothing you do is good enough for anybody? And you can work yourself to the bone and you are not appreciated. <laughs> oh, and then you're just given more and more to do because obviously you can handle everything, right? I'm probably gonna have to cut this part out because nobody really needs to know how I feel, do they? But I think Hopefully there's a lot of women out there just like me who are overachievers and you work extraordinarily hard and you are fiercely confident and technically apt and you're good with people and everything you have to offer is awesome. And are you appreciated? Mm -hmm. Heck, no, you are not. And that, my dears, is the plight of being a woman we get to work, but we have to work about 10 times harder than men, I swear, to even get one tenth of the recognition. Rant over. It's a cell activator. It is Amsterdam black oxide, and it is mixed with Australian flotrol. I don't actually know the ratio here because I just need to get it to a certain thickness. I know that four to one does not work for me. That's far too thin. So this is probably closer to like somewhere between two to two and three to one. And yeah, I know big, big puddle because we're going to continue to experiment and I'm going to get out my little blower instead of actually blowing on this. Here goes. <laughs> a little too much cell activator. <laughs> oh, let's find out. If at first you don't succeed, find your straw and try again. I'm sitting on it. What else is new? Just because I'm nuts and I do crazy things, we're gonna I'm gonna do something here. I don't know how many blooms on surfaces this big. Just like a different order here. I'm gonna warn you, I just have a super effed attitude. <laughs> 
that's why you're here, right? You like how irreverent I am. You know, that's really the case. I'm sure it's not. <laughs> also mentioned that these recipes are like brand new to me. I have not worked with the Josona. I have not worked with the Arteza too, too much. The little bit I've done, I've loved. It is so pretty when it dries. So this should be very, very curious. We're just gonna let this develop here for a few minutes. Got a lot of air bubbles. Most people don't torch their blooms. I do. I'm not most people. Oh, no, no, don't land it. Oh, it was like a fruit fly or something. And I'm gonna spin this. Well, there's a lot of good happening in this. I mean, there's definitely some bad too, but this, good. This, icky. God, it's cool to watch it move even after it's stopped. So what do you do with something like that? I'm gonna do a pseudo swipe. So I'm gonna use a spatula. I'm gonna spread some cell activator right on it, on the edge. I'm gonna have to think about how I'm actually gonna like hold this, but I just kind of smeared it all over. I'm gonna do this at an angle. I'm gonna start it there and then kind of drag it through. So let's see how this works. I'm just gonna spread quite as much as I'd like it to. So I'm gonna... That is like one exposed corner. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'll let that do its own magical thing, right? I'm gonna wipe it off. I'm just gonna swipe it again because I just have too much. I'm doing mixed methods tonight. Grace of God go I. I'm just gonna bring some color into those weird places and it makes it look a little less weird. Because otherwise, I really like it. I think it's really unique. And we have so little control over so much of our lives. We have so little control over the way our pain pores go. But there's little things we can change. You know, if we don't like certain things, we can change some things. We can't change the overall way of the world. We can't change the way sometimes we're treated at work. But, it, you know, be it customers or other, you know, there's a lot we can't control, but we can change the things that don't work for us one little bit at a time. It doesn't have to be drastic. It never has to be drastic. Unless you want it to be, I suppose. But you don't have to deal with it. You don't have to just accept it the way it is when you have power to change it. Even if your power is minute. Even if it's just changing one odd little piece of your painting that didn't turn out quite right. There's always something you can do. There's always some way you can say, I have ownership of this. I have ownership of my own life. We are all artists. We're all here living, doing our best. Be the artist of your own life. If you're unhappy, change it. You have the option. 
There it is. Look at those cells. See how that pretty shine and shimmer? These are taints of paints. Kick it. They're really great. Hiccups and super more bumps, but overall, this is beautiful. I'm pretty happy with this. Mm -hmm.